Directory Junction versus Directory Symbolic Link In the context of NTFS Clink, slash D, slash H, slash J, link target slash D creates a directory symbolic link. Default is a file symbolic link dot slash H creates a hard link instead of a symbolic link dot slash J creates a directory junction dot link specifies the new symbolic link name dot target specifies the path, relative or absolute, that the new link refers to. Isn't a directory junction the exact same thing as a directory symbolic link? What's the difference between clink slash df1 f2 and clink slash jf1 f2? Since a directory is actually just a file, what would be the difference between a directory symbolic link and a file symbolic link? A junction is definitely not the same thing as a directory symbolic link, although they behave similarly. The main difference is that, if you are looking at a remote server, junctions are processed at the server and directory symbolic links are processed at the client. Also see Matthew's comment on the fact that this means symbolic links on the local file system can point to remote file systems. Suppose that on a machine named Alice you were to put a junction point C column backslash myj and a directory symbolic link C column backslash missim link, both pointing to C column backslash target folder. While you're using Alice you won't notice much difference between them. But if you're using another machine named Bob, then the junction point backslash Alice backslash C dollar backslash Mige will point to backslash Alice backslash C dollar backslash target folder. But the symbolic link. Backslash Alice backslash C dollar backslash missing link will point to backslash Bob backslash C dollar backslash target folder. Caveat, by default, the system doesn't follow symlinks on remote volumes, so in most cases the second example will actually result in either file not found or the symbolic link cannot be followed because its type is disabled. The difference between a directory symbolic link and a file symbolic link is simply that one represents a directory and one represents a file. Since the target of the link doesn't need to exist when the link is created, the file system needs to know whether to tell applications that it is a directory or not. It should also be noted that creating a symbolic link requires special privilege, by default, only available to elevated processes, whereas creating a junction only requires access to the file system. Symbolic links have more functionality, while junctions almost seem to be a legacy feature because of their limitations, but the security implications of these limitations are specifically why a junction might be preferred over a symbolic link. Remote targeting makes symbolic links more functional, but also raises their security profile, while junctions might be considered safer because they are constrained to local paths. So, if you want a local link and can live with an absolute path, you're probably better off with a junction, otherwise, consider a symbolic link for its added abilities. The statement of difference in speed slash complexity comes from an unverified statement in the Wikipedia entry on NTFS repass points, a good read. Other NTFS link comparisons. Here are some other comparisons on the topic, but these can be misleading when considering junctions because they don't list the benefits I list above. Taken from here, a good introductory read. From SS64 page on Blink.
Comments about terminology. Junctions are symbolic links. Junctions and symbolic links are really doing the same thing in the same way, repass points, aside from the aforementioned differences in how they're processed. In fact, technically, a junction is a symbolic link, and sometimes documentation might call a junction a symbolic link, as is the case here. So, that's just something to be aware of regarding terminology. NTFS Even though the op specifies this, it's worth pointing out that symbolic link is a very general term that is not specific to NTFS. So, to be specific, this comparison is about NTFS junctions versus NTFS symbolic links. Complex talk hurts brain, I like charts. Assume any my link is a symbolic link and any my junk is a junction pointing at target as created. For example, mclink slash the my link c column backslash t underscore dear for creating a symbolic link to the target directory. mclink slash j my junk c column backslash t underscore dear for creating a directory junction to the target directory. Where syntax is mclink slash j comma slash d link path target path as typed on local machine. Error 1, if you unblocked access to remote symbolic links on your local machine, then this would work, but only on the local machine where it's unblocked. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.